Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Fritz of Anomyces, carrying on with the hype train. Choo choo. Choo choo. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Peter and Brent of Anomyces, we're checking out some perennial mama. Yeah. May man, my man. Mama. Whatever it's called. Uh, so this it's is. Mama. <laughs> mama. Yeah. Mama. Yeah. Uh, we got this from Mama. Oh, my man. <laughs> the man of oh, hype. So bad. Uh, the man of hype, Mr. Nathan Ryerson. Uh, Nate and I did, well, Nate helped me proxy some bottles of Ambiente, and then he was kind enough to say, like, hey, dude, or I was like, should we do a trade? And he was mm -hmm. kind enough to add some bottles. I, we talked about some bottles, but he didn't say what he was going to send. And then he sent a 2020 Mama, and he sent a the vanilla version for the yeah, membership, society, society, society membership. I yeah. can't remember the name of it. And then he also sent a barrel to Braxas and a barrel to Yeah, it's it's like five. Man, that's too kind. And uh, he got help me get the shirt. Uh, so yeah, this is kind, a huge kind. shout out to Nate. If you don't know Nate, you haven't been on YouTube for a while because he does behind the bar beer reviews, and it's whale town galore. Yeah, can you make a whale sound, Brett? <laughs> That's more like a dolphin. Yeah, well, it's a whale yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. but <laughs> this is gonna be so dope. Uh, Mamang is one of those really, you know, iconic perennial beers, and it was the stepping stone for one of our favorite beers. Yeah, beer barrel time. BBT. So this is the 2020 vintage of Mamang. It's a 14.6% bourbon barrel aged blended imperial stout. It's been in Heaven Hill barrels, this specific vintage, and it's also been in Weller barrels. Yeah. And I think it was between so 20 and 27 months. Bourbon. Yeah, depending on, I don't know the composition of Heaven Hills. No, no. You, most bourbon have a bit of wheat. Yeah, um, but Weller is known for being, yeah, it looks much more weeded. Thick. It looks so similar to BBT. Yeah, in the last. it does. Such a nice looking pitch by color and that like really nice dark tan head. Yeah, and it coats the glass. Yeah, Super it, nice know, curtains, yeah. yeah. Like fine lazing. It smells like so much bourbon from here. Yeah, it smells like bourbon brownies. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma. Thanks, Nate. Oh, oh man. man, what a Holy bourbon bomb. Fuck. That smells. Oh. I said it for fun off camera. It almost smells like B or looks oh, like BBT light. Yeah. It smells like BBT light. Like it's. I just it, hate. It's, it's a. So, it so sounds fucking negative. It sounds negative and it sounds mean, but it's 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 a similar kind of preference mm. of, of, of like yeah. characters. It's just not nice, deep and dense. Yeah. But fuck, it smells There's good. There's so much like vanilla barrel vanilla and like coconut and. I'm getting a touch char. of alcohol. I'm getting a touch of alcohol. Yeah, but, but it's, it's nice. It it you know on the aroma for me it's most like. Thick, crazy bourbon. Maybe not yeah, that brownie brown. batter too much. But, no, but like brown sugar. Yeah. And car like caramelized and cigar, brown sugar. Cigar smoke, yeah. tobacco. Uh, there's a bit of dark fruit, raisin, yeah. figgy notes. A bit of dark loads chocolate. Loads of vanilla. Loads of fudgy bourbon. This smells so good. Yeah. Like so much vanilla. And yeah. I wish brewers in Europe, you know, there's the oh. upper echelons of America are still just miles higher. And I think yeah. it's so crazy. Mm. Like... This is, smells so good, but yeah. uh, you know there are people trying to do things somewhere, which is amazing. But so much. But I just love that the so barrel is so much. huge. It's almost yeah, me too. Yeah. That's what I want. Like almost like a charry smoky. Yeah, it's burnt definitely wood. charry. Yeah, charry smoky tobacco. Do you want to try my man? Not smoky, but yeah, charry. Do it. Cheers. Thanks a ton, Nate. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. How is this like wow. Oh, fuck, that's so good. It's it's much more spirity and warmth like compared to a BBT. Yeah. It's not as thick and not as deep and no, no. dense. But, but it's fucking great yeah. world class barrel aged stuff. Yeah. It's I, it's very bourbon county like. Loads of just, deep barrel just character. Much more thick and yeah, thick and rich. More, well I'll taste Bourbon County anniversary in one or two in two days it's okay so. i got a bottle too my friend <laughs> yeah i know but i'm just interested to see if that one is kind of similar to this but yeah so dense but it it has a huge bourbon flavor mm. like almost like a stewed apple bourbon thing too and like cinnamony like there's yeah, some spice yeah. and woodiness and then there's like this huge 
fudgy vanilla character. I don't. I'm not getting too much coconut. It's more like the classic fudge vanilla. Yeah, yeah. It's not as Dark. coconutty uh, flavor wise, but also charry and toasty. Chocolate covered espresso beans, charry wood. There's the tobacco yeah. leathery smoke, hints of dark fruit, loads of brown sugar. Mm. But it's not going all the way into crazy mud. It's like, it's a mix of oh, it's old. It's not super sweet. It's a mix of old and new school barrel aged mm. stout from the States, and it really reminds me of something like, as I said, like a more complex and intense Bourbon County. Uh, but like beer barrel time oh, was just man. much more dense and impactful. But that being said, this I is still say much more, more. But it's more. I would say it's much more. To be hundred percent, I, I remember more crazy brown yeah, yeah, better it, fudge. It, it is, but I'm, uh, yeah, I just think much more is a big word because this is it's still a huge beer. It is. <laughs> but, yeah. But it's just the hundreds. This is not yeah, hundreds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, and the hundreds, the great, and you said that yourself in old yeah, videos. Yeah. The, those small notches in the last yeah. few steps are humongous. Yeah, yeah. For it's, like for it me, is, I already know. BBC is, is definitely. I, I agree that it's better. But yeah, it's just you know, mm. a matter of like. Yeah, I mean, if you can't get BBC, words, I would. Yeah. I would love to get this as well. But BBT mm. is probably my favorite beer of all time. Yeah. Uh, so it's hard to. It is that. fucking insane, and it was two days after, also. So yeah, it was still like a clear hundred. And don't insane. Don't. Bottle up small, stupid five and ten centiliter samples in whiskey bottles and ship them around. No, nope. people are doing that with this shit. This is not whiskey. It's beer. Yeah, it's not a spirit. Things are gonna happen in the bottle. Of course, these beers will be oxidized in the, like crazy oxidized. If there's just handle bottle in a small thing, it only took two, five days. Yeah, five days yeah. filled with in a bottle is not purged from oxygen. I think it's one of the most retarded things I've ever heard happen. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, people are paying good money for yeah, having yeah. it shipped. I just remember when that was went down. It's just like, Ooh. what are you? What's wrong with you guys? Uh, but no, this, this is world class, oh, amazing so barrel aged yeah. beer. Uh, it's kind of the same level as Old Elk to me. Yeah, I, I'm 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 gonna go 98 on this one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's world class barrel aged beer. Uh, it's got so much depth and nice character. It's mm. a bit, you know. It just shows why you just only need <laughs> beer barrels in time. You don't yeah. always need adjuncts. Mm -hmm. You can like the beers that are just barrel aged like this are amazing. Nate, yeah. this is fucking great. I just yeah. think, you know, even though, uh, you know, people are saying it's not as good as when, uh, like a lot of the vintages of a lot of perennial beer aren't as good as, as when Corey was still there. This is still a world class phenomenal product in my mind. Uh, I'm really stoked that we have a vanilla version of this to try too. Mm. So. But from what I've heard, my man is the one that's held up the most since he left. So I mm. think this is probably the closest we'll get to the earlier my man. But again, BBT is an improved kind of version of yeah. this. Uh, definitely, it is. It's definitely improved. It's also it's just the use of words. I, I just wouldn't say that it's much. You know, like yeah. I but I so. would say it's definitely a better beer, and it has a bit more. It has more complexity and a bit more depth in flavor. But I wouldn't say it's like a massive like difference. But yeah, it's, I think it's, there is a big difference. To be a hundred percent honest, the fact that that beer it, this is in two different barrels. Yeah, that beer is a humongous blend of different recipes. Yeah, and a humongous blend of barrels compared to this. The the, mm. the standout flavors on that was just more intense. Yeah, yeah, and it and it those two last more. grades, ninety nine to a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Are huge steps. So yeah. I, it's steps below, but I would still definitely get this. And if you don't want to drop big bucks for beer barrel time, get this. Get Mamang, because that is amazing beer as well, and it's world class, and it's just so dope that, that Nate sent this over. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's, I, I love it, but it's just like, I, f I feel like beer barrel time just has a bit more density and impactful flavor and everything. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I but completely that agree. Again, it's, it's a matter of rhetoric. It's just know, when, rhetoric. And, and, yeah, rhetoric, yeah. And rhetoric, and also the way I'm saying it, yeah. maybe it sounds like that this is not a great beer, but it is, yeah. I mean, I, otherwise I wouldn't give it a 98. No, 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 no. It's just, yeah. Yeah. But I definitely agree that BBT is, is yeah, it, it's it's 100% uh, uh, it's a hundred beer above, above this at least. It's a hundred beer, yeah. and the hundred beers happen maybe three, four yeah. times a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for us. This yeah, is and and it will beer. become harder to. Make yeah, sure. yeah, especially so. with the stuff we're getting. Yeah. But this uh, is we've had. It's, it's so fantastic. I would love to drink this again. You know, yeah. and yeah. we will, but with vanilla. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because Nate is an awesome dude. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. 
There we go. Yeah. Finally got to crack Mama on camera. And it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So if you guys had a chance to try the Perennial Artisan Nails 2020 Mama, let us know what you thought of it. Really, really damn tasty stuff. Worth a shot and not too hard to trade for. You should be able to get this if you're into trading. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos and check out Nate's channel, Behind the Barbie Reviews. Yes. We'll put a link for his channel right down below. And we're gonna say cheers. Yes. In a reasonably short 11 minute video of a hype beer. Yeah, that's what is going on. Impressive. And <laughs> see you guys in another beer review.